good morning class 9th today we are going to start with the chapter if i were you from your book beehive the chapter is on page number 138 now this chapter is basically written by sir james douglas this author was a british john and he born he was born on august 15 1803 he was a canadian and he is also considered as the father of british columbia because he became the first governor when it was a newly formed wilderness colony sir james was a very famous play writer and the top the chapter of his play which has been taken here in your book is a one act play now one act play basically means a play which is not divided in different episodes okay but the climax is there in the same play so let's see how the play begins this play have two main characters the first character is jirat who is a play writer he is very confident very calm very composed and very intelligent too on the other hand the second character is an intruder intruder means a person who enters your premises without your permission an unknown person who enters our personal boundaries without our permission so two characters are here the scene starts where the play writer jurat is packing some stuff in a suitcase and he is getting ready to go somewhere as he received a phone call the phone call was from the people who were practicing the play and they wanted the props for the rehearsal and here gerard was packing those props and he was about to reach to those people suddenly with a sound a person enters his room and he is standing in front of him with a gun in his hand he tried to frighten him by showing the gun and threatening him although gerard was not at all scared he was standing confident smiling and looking straight to the intruder the intruder started communicating with gerard he first reveal his identity he told him that i am a murderer and i want to uh, escape here at your place and i am going to live my life peacefully here in your house with your identity and how he is going to possess his identity by killing gerard so intruder reveals his plan that i am going to kill you and i am giving going to live my life here in your isolated house with your name gerard was smiling and listening to him intruder started asking certain questions from gerard about his life because he wanted to live the life of gerard so he need to know all the small details of his life like who are his friends who all are the regular visitors at his place and what kind of a behavior he has although intruder has certain amount of information from the beginning itself because he heard two people talking in the market about gerard those people were sharing the information that gerard is a kind of person who don't meet anyone he hardly comes to the market but he generally orders everything at his place so this was the perfect condition for the intruder to hide himself so he decided to live the life of gerard but he further asked gerard to tell him more about his life gerard silently and happily gave the answers of all the questions asked by the intruder he was not scared so after the intruder was done with the answers gerard told him that i want to really reveal a secret with you so intruder questioned and gerard narrated a fictional story in front of the intruder and that was not difficult for him because he was already a play writer and of course an intelligent man so the story narrated was as goes gerard told the intruder that i am myself a murderer and that is the reason i am living here alone in this isolated house 
And because I am escaping from the police, that's why I hardly go out. I avoid going out in the market and I order all my stuff here in my house. Okay, so by this particular story, he was trying to make the intruder understand that he himself is going to be in trouble if he's going to take Gerard's identity. Although in the initial situation, intruders was not believing him. But later Gerard told him that you can see I am packing my bag because as I have come to know that police can encounter me anytime. They are invading in my house here and they will catch me. So I am trying to elope from here and I have certain arrangements. Still intruder was not at all behave, believing on his story. So to make him believe more, Gerard told him that if you don't believe me, you can come along with me in my car. And if you still find that something is doubtful, then you can kill me. So this made the intruder believe Gerard. So Gerard told, me, told him that if you don't believe my story, he showed him a door and he told him that you can peep out of this door as this door opens in my garage. And you can see that police has already appeared here and they can got, get into the house anytime. As soon the intruder opened the door and he peeped inside to see out, suddenly he was pushed by Gerard inside and Gerard locked the door. Because actually the door was not opening to a garage, but it was the door of a cupboard. And unfortunately, unluckily, intruders was locked inside the cupboard. Suddenly the phone started ringing because the people practicing doing the rehearsal for the play were waiting for their props. So Gerard apologized them for the delay and he also requested them to send the police at his place because there is some issue. And thus, with his smartness and with the usage of his presence of mind, and also he used his intellect of narrating the story, very smartly Gerard was able to save his life and he also helped the cops to catch such an intruder who was escaping from the police from a very long time. So this is the chapter. If we talk about the moral of the chapter, here we get to learn two things. First thing, the presence of mind is very much helpful in handling any kind of situation. As Gerard has used his presence of mind and is a, he was able to help the cops to catch the intruder. And on the other hand, some situations can help you in the positive way. How? By narrating this story to escape his life, Gerard got an idea to have a plot in his play. He decided to have this particular whole story as a plot in his next play. So although the situation was very adverse, but Gerard still learned something from, something from it and he decided to use this plot in his next play. So this is how we can take the opportunity from the adverse situations of our life also. So here the chapter has, has come to an end. And I hope everybody has understood well. Thank you.